Hey, what's going on, rock stars? It's Dwayne down here at the Platinum Music Complex out here in North Richland Hills. On the show tonight, let's talk music. We've got Incognito. I'm now the singer. Okay, awesome, man. Was the drummer for the first 30 years. I'm bass player. You're the bass player? Yeah. All right, you're the one who holds everybody together. Uh, well, for the most, yeah, for the most that's part. The for the most part. Solid, most that's solid the bass player. <laughs> what year did you guys start this band? 89. It's been so long ago. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so back then, that was the tail end of the big hair, heavy metal, glam days. Absolutely. Uh, we met through a dentist friend of mine who played keyboards, you know, as a hobby. But he goes, you, you, man, you got to go, you got to go hear this Black Horse band. They're playing up in Fort Worth. So we went there, and he introduced me to Kevin, and we talked later, going, you know, at some time we ought to just put a three-piece band together and just go make money, not put on the makeup and the big clothes, just right, go right. play. And I called Kevin and said, you still want to do that? He said, sure. So we got together and maybe rehearsed once or twice at Cook's house and played at Jubilation, their jam day. For free beer for about six months. Yeah, never really expected anything big to come from it. We just showed up to make a little money and it was always there, so we kept showing up. Yeah, so anybody out there that doesn't know anything about you guys, what, what, they, what would they expect when they come to one of your shows? Probably just a bunch of songs that they know that they can sing along with. You know, <laughs> that's rock. I would say us and Ashmore, maybe one more, one or two, are rock cover bands gotcha, that gotcha. are able to play. We were approached about doing a tribute to Van Halen. Okay, okay. And, mm -hmm. Which we balked at originally, and then as far as me doing it and going out front, I'd never been a front man before. But my daughter was like, Dad, you got to do it. So I agreed to do it. We did the first show, and I showed up in blue jeans and did my thing. And I saw, she, saw you Van Halen fans out there, because I'm one. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead go ahead and tell us which one you like singing better, David or Sammy, because they're going to ask. <laughs> um, I've got to be real. I like them both. I do, too. I, I think David Lee Roth represents your youth, mm -hmm. and Sammy Hager represents a, a little bit more sophisticated music, quite right. frankly. And, Absolutely. I mean, I sing all the David Lee Roth stuff. Not that I have anything against Sammy. I just can't sing it. Right. I mean, he just keeps going. He's an amazing singer. Yeah. Right? So, so, who, so who's the other piece that's not here tonight? Jake Crawford, phenomenal guitar player. Okay. And we, we had, for the first 30 years, I guess, 27, we had an extremely good guitar player. His name was Mike Myers. Mike Myers, okay. Mike got something in his hands where he couldn't play like he wanted to. Right. And uh, both of his parents had passed away, and he's like, man, I've got all the money I could ever spend. And I just don't enjoy it anymore. Yeah. You know, and it was time for him to go because he wanted to get out of there as quick as he could. He wanted to start as late as he could. You really? Know? Um, he's now deceased. But um, when he left, we're like, how do you replace that? Now, now how, how long was he in, in the band? Uh, 30 years. Yeah. I think oh, was wow. it 20? Was it yeah. 20, 20? And Jay Crawford came one night and played with us. And we're like, that, that kid is good. And I say kid because he's quite a bit younger than us. I mean, he's. 40 now right? he's younger but he's an old soul he, yeah. he, he knows he? His, his dad used to take him to clubs and let him play when he was 13 years old yeah he's playing right on. so right he's been, on. Jake's been playing since he can since he could hold a guitar just about yeah you know? that is so cool went to Berkeley I told Kevin if he ever quits I'm like man he knew the keys I'll retire right. <laughs> you know, right. the longevity of y'all's band is just impressive man I, I don't care well I think Mike Mike contributed to that I think Absolutely. in a huge way. I don't. I don't think we'd be sitting here if, if Mike had, you know, if Mike weren't wasn't, wasn't the guitar player he was, right. or yeah. if Jay didn't take over for him. Right. And Terry, I mean Terry Ranson, our drummer, he was voted drummer of the year. He plays with the Rush tribute also. Uh, he was doing a Pink Floyd thing too. I think. Yeah, he does Pink Floyd. He used Still. to do Swan Song. He he's a monster drummer, <clears throat> and he hasn't. He, he's single. He has a drum set for every band. I mean, his, nice. his, his house is a shrine to drums. It's like, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Well, Kevin and Jeff, I really appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Dallas, Fort Worth, you guys keep rocking. Whatever city you're in, go support live and local music. We'll see you the next time. Honestly, I thought this was just radio. I didn't know we were going to get filmed, too, man. <laughs>